We believe that by using our practice plan, which we will talk about later, we can make our claim possible. Here we have several tests of different ways of fielding to show that if you field a baseball in a different way, it will give you a different time that it will take you to field the ball. As you will see, Tyler's barehanded fielding gave him the fastest time, but in a real bas baseball game, this is impractical because the speed of the ball will be too fast most of the time. So, as normal fielding is the second best time, we feel this would be the best way to field the ball if possible. As the ball rolls on the ground to a player on the field, it loses some of its energy due to the friction of it rolling on the ground. Also, when the player picks up the ball, that the energy that the ball had is transferred into his hand and through his body. When he throws the ball back to another player, that energy is transferred back into the ball. This is an example of Newton's third law. By using this practice plan, a player will be able to field a ball more consistently with a faster time and have less chance of it going under their hand. This is mainly because without the glove, the player is forced to stay lower to the ground and have constant contact with it. This is Stephen Chia, one of our practice players in our baseball video. I have a couple questions to ask him today. If you had a preference, would you rather field the ball normally or backhanded? If I had a preference to field the baseball normally or backhanded, I would field it normally because it, although it's one second slower than fielding it backhanded, I feel more comfortable getting my body in front of it and I have more control over stopping the ball with my body rather than just my glove on a backhand. After doing our practice plan, did you notice a difference in your fielding ability once you put your glove back on? Yes, I did your practice plan five times and then I put my glove on and did it five more times. I noticed that with my glove off, I need to make sure I keep my body low to the ground and have my hands down, that way I can knock the ball down with my body. After doing our practice plan, did you feel more comfortable with fielding the ball? Yes, I did. It made me have more confidence in getting low to the ground and making sure I feel the ball with my whole body rather than just my glove. Gotta be, Santa Fe.